we are the Crafty Lumberjacks, and that's Santa. Hey, ho, ho, ho. <laughs> well, if you're anything like us, you love going to the dollar store. And you also craft on the floor. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that rhymes. <laughs> Especially for big projects, we're always crafting on the floor. We don't have a craft table. We have a little tiny table. We have a table that we pull out every now and then yeah. to craft on, but that's like for more formal things. Oh, yes. Uh, but yeah, we always craft on the floor, and we wanted to share with you two larger than life Christmas DIYs from the dollar store. So our first project is going to be easy triangle plaid trees, all materials from the dollar store. We needed a foam cord, they sell these pieces for a dollar. And then we also found this adorable plaid wrapping paper. Yeah, um, it's like vintagey looking, it's really cute. Yes, yeah, so cute. And we're gonna turn it into a Christmas tree. So then, with a X-Acto knife, I'm just going to cut out my tree. There it is. And we have our first triangle tree. Okay, and now it's time to wrap it. I'm just gonna literally wrap it like a present. You won't see the back, so it can be as sloppy as you want on the back. It really doesn't matter. Oops. You can see we kind of finagled the corner a little bit. You can kind of do whatever you want. We're gonna be having um, these lay on the floor, so you really won't see the bottoms um, that much. For the top part, I'm just gonna kind of fake it. It doesn't have to be super pretty. Um, the whole project is really forgiving once you're finished with it. Pro tip, don't worry about the tip. hey <gasps> The tree. Aww. The plaid tree. We wanted two different sizes of trees, so we made a bigger one, and we did that by um, just turning the uh, board sideways, and then we just used a bit of painter's tape to kind of connect them to, just so we would have a larger one. Yeah, connecting two boards really helped. These are great. Big impact. Look at the tree. Look at the trees. All right, for our second craft, we were inspired by memories of driving in the car as kids and seeing all the Christmas decorations. Yes, it would be so exciting when you go down Main Street and you see all the decorations, or you go to certain parking lots and they have these huge tinsel garland, like massive decorations. So we wanted to create that. Yes, and we found some heavy duty wire at the dollar store. Yeah, but they probably have these at like a hardware store like yes. Home Depot. And we're using some glittery tinsel. And Christmas lights. Christmas lights. And we're going with the classic Christmas bells. Let's get started. All right, so the first thing we did was cut 10 feet of wire for one bell. We doubled it up, wrapped it together. It is going to be the structure of our bells and we want it to be as sturdy as possible so when it hangs, it doesn't uh, start to droop or fall apart. And our bells are going to each be about uh, two feet tall and a foot and a half wide. You really shouldn't be too worried about how it turns out at this point because the tinsel is gonna make it really forgiving. Bell or goldfish, I don't know. All right, so I actually made another bell because there are going to be two. Let me just start to shape this one around it. So then they're both the same, which makes a lot more sense. It's a little wonky. I mean, come on, let's just be honest. It's a lot wonky right now, but that's okay. Just got to keep kind of pushing it so it's nice and flat. All right, we have some industrial cutters. I'm just gonna cut this part off right here. Ding dong, ding dong. For our bow, we're gonna be using wire, but we're not doubling it up because we don't need it to be as sturdy as the bells. So we cut about 10 feet of wire. We're hoping that's gonna be enough. And now we're just gonna start shaping our bow. Hi. So here is our bow. <laughs> this looks like some like nightmare before Christmas bow. Yeah, but I think with like the tinsel garland yeah. and the lights, you won't be able to tell. We don't even know how this is gonna turn out because it's the first time we're doing this. All right, so our bells and our bow are done and now we're gonna start 
attaching everything, wrapping everything. We're just gonna put our belts together and then wrap the pieces of wire together. I mean, is this a one person project? I don't know, <laughs> no. probably no. not. You wrap your belt, I'll wrap mine. Now we're gonna start with our bow. For certain areas, we're just adding a bit of floral wire just so that uh, the lights will stay in place. All right, now time to wrap the bells. We're using uh, tinsel garland from the dollar store. They're 15 feet each. We're using two packs. She's almost done. We love the way it's turning out. We're gonna add a little um, greenery here. And we're gonna attach everything using the wire. Yeah. And then we're gonna put on our bow. We're gonna make a loop um, out of industrial wire and we're gonna hang it on the back to the bells, not to the bow because it's not as sturdy. All right, well, thanks so much for spending time with us on the floor today. Yes, let us know if you make any of these things. Also check out our other video with easy DIY Christmas projects. And Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas.